Hi, I'm gonna build a new cage for my guinea pigs. <laughs> Wanna watch? This is Squash and this is Zucchini. We adopted them in September and this cage is fine. It's just, it's not very aesthetically pleasing. It's also a little small for my tastes, so we're gonna upgrade. <laughs> Rude. I started with two handy panels from the hardware store. They're basically what Ikea furniture is made out of. So I went with two of them so the entire cage is gonna be two feet by eight feet. And then I added 12 inch furniture legs so that I could fit 12 inch storage baskets underneath. Another reason I went with handy panels is because they fit in my car. I don't have a hardware store nearby and the cost of delivery was more than the wood if I had gone with larger pieces, so I just got what I could fit. I also wanted to use these because that slick surface would make cleanup very easy. Also, as you can see, I added an extra leg in the middle of each handy panel because there was a little bit of bowing, so it was for extra support. Then I added iron-on edge banding. So it's just a strip with glue on one side and you iron it on to make that unfinished edge really finished and smooth. I used two by twos as support for the walls and I used my table saw to cut a long notch along the side that's about a half inch deep and an eighth of an inch thick. And then I got to use my pocket hole jig for the first time. I did not know what I was doing, but I figured it out and I just used a half inch screw and attached those to the handy panel. This is a closer look of that edge banding that I used. I found a roll on Amazon. It's just the black shiny material on one side and glue already on the other and you rub an iron on it. That's it. It was super easy. I attached the wall supports with one screw just to figure out where I wanted them. Most of them are 12 inches tall so the guinea pigs can't jump out. A couple of them are two feet where I was going to put platforms. I also put edge banding on the seam in between the two handy panels to avoid pee going through. I decided to go with clear acrylic sheets for the walls. I bought them in a larger sheet and cut them down to size myself and it was a complete bitch. <laughs> but I cut them to be 12 inches tall and then the width that I needed and they slid right into those little notches that I cut into the wall supports. There is a little bit of flex but I had a solution for that at the end. Once I was confident and I hadn't screwed anything up, I added the last of the screws to the supports. On the right side of the cage, I wanted to add some platforms to serve as hidey holes, which I built out of scrap wood, and I used brown board as the backing on that side. I used that so the hidey holes would be dark and cozy for when they want to hide, and also because it was cheaper, and that's the taller side because I didn't want them to jump out. And it's an eighth of an inch thick as well, so it fit into those little notches that I had cut in the posts. Guinea pig cage so far. I started smoothing some of the edges. Still working on that. I've got this little barrier because the pine shavings are going to go on this section. I don't want them to just fall over to the other side. I got the brown board backing over there. Cutting the acrylic sheets made them really rough, so I just smoothed them with sandpaper. Next I made waterproof fleece liners and I used a waterproof mattress pad that was quilted on one side and shiny and waterproof on the other side and I just got cheap fleece blankets from Walmart and I sewed them right on top. They're not gorgeous, but they're gonna be used to catch pee and poop, so <laughs> it's fine. And I used Velcro to attach them to the levels and to the handy panels so that they don't slide around, so the pigs don't eat them. And I put the softer side of the Velcro, not the scratchy side, on the fleece pad so that they don't get snagged in the washing machine. And on the left side of the cage is where the pine shavings and grass are gonna go. I just drilled holes into the brown board so that I could hook the water bottle into it and added some hidey holes and beds. This is their first experience being in the new cage. The grass tower that you see is the one from the old cage. I was waiting for my new one to come in, but we couldn't wait. We could not wait to get them into it. Second hidey hole. <laughs> Because the acrylic was so flexy, when you put the pine in and the pigs moved around, they would push the pine shavings onto the floor. So I had this peel and stick foam weather stripping laying around. And so I just cut it to size and stuck it on and it worked perfectly. I only needed it on the long pieces in the front and the back. I left the side alone because that's the piece that we lift up when we're cleaning out the pine. Then the new grass tower came and I love it so much more than that metal one because it actually keeps a lot of the grass 
in. Like the last one, all the grass would fall out and made a huge mess. And now it's still easy for them to get to it, but it doesn't spill out all over the place. And they've really made themselves at home. They love their new cage so much and it's super easy to clean. All I do is pull those fleece pads off the Velcro. I vacuum them a little bit and lint roll them as needed and I just throw them in the wash. It's working amazing. And we're saving money because we're using less pine shavings. So that's the end of this video. I just really wanted to show off. <laughs> It's so cute and they just love it. They're so happy. They're so cozy. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a like. I don't know, it's super random, but guinea pigs are cute. <laughs> Let me know if you have any questions and I'll try to link as much as I can in the description box. Yes? You want a treat? <laughs> okay. Squashy? Yummy?